We're here today at uh, Mornington County Mead at one of our SUA small unmanned aircraft or pass testing areas. Just behind me here you can see uh, Garod O'Brien, one of our, um, our chief ground instructor and one our pass or SUA flight examiner uh, who is conducting a test with one of our uh, students fresh off our most recent ground school course. The area itself is a wide open area. It's in uh, uncontrolled airspace or Class G airspace which means that according to the statutory instrument 563 of 2015 that we can fly up to 400 feet here and out to 300 meters uh, without uh, receiving prior permission or special exemption from the Irish Aviation Authority. The majority of large cities in Ireland are covered by Class C controlled airspace. To fly in this airspace, drone pilots and operators must have specific permissions. Those permissions are divided into two parts and the first step in attaining these permissions is to complete a ground school course of training. The ground school takes two days and is delivered by experts in the field and it covers subjects such as meteorology, principles of flight and how specifically to operate uh, your drone safely in Irish airspace. The second phase is the flight testing phase and having completed the flight testing phase, pilots and operators can then go forward and apply to fly in controlled airspace throughout the country and operate up uh, to the maximum extent that is allowed in Irish legislation. My name is uh, Jurgen White, I'm the Chief Inspector of Air Excellence of the Air Excellence Investigation Unit. I attended the iFly course for drones, primarily because we are now using drones as a risk assessment tool for accident sites and also for 3D survey mapping of the accident site. I came to iFlight Technology because I set up a small video production company for myself. I found the training here absolutely amazing. The, uh, the instructors were very knowledgeable and very experienced in the area. Uh, my, my general drone knowledge improved massively over the two days from um, uh, drone laws to operating. I'm a digital consultant, videographer and sometime photographer and I cannot recommend the course highly enough. The impact it's going to have on my work will be it's going to open new revenue streams, it's going to open masses of new angles that I can utilise in video projects for clients, um, which I'm always fascinated to try and find more of. 